Hello and welcome to What Is. In this channel, we explore a wide variety of topics and answer questions you may have about the world around us. Whether you're curious about science, technology, history, or something else entirely, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's learn something new together. Welcome to the world of the cassette player. A device that revolutionized the way we listen to music and has a rich history that spans decades. In this video, we will take a look at the history of cassette players, the different types and features, and some interesting facts about this beloved technology. So, let's take a trip down memory lane. The first cassette player was invented by Philips in 1963. The device was called the Compact Cassette and it quickly became popular because of its portability and ease of use. The Compact Cassette was a small plastic case that held a magnetic tape inside. The tape was divided into two tracks, one for the left channel and one for the right channel. The first commercially available cassette player was the Philips L3300, which was released in 1964. It was a portable device that could be powered by batteries, making it convenient for listening to music on the go. The cassette player quickly gained popularity, especially among teenagers and young adults in the 1970s, cassette players became more popular and were used for both music and audio recording. Many people used cassette players to record their own music or to make mixtapes for their friends. The cassette player also became popular in cars, with many car manufacturers including cassette players as standard equipment in their vehicles. The cassette player became even more popular with the release of the Sony Walkman, a portable cassette player that was designed for personal listening. The Walkman was a huge success, selling over 400 million units worldwide. In the 1980s, the cassette player was at its peak of popularity. Many popular artists released their music on cassette, and cassette tapes were the most popular format for music. However, with the advent of new technology such as the CD and MP3, the cassette player started to decline in popularity, the cassette tape quickly became popular with music enthusiasts, as it allowed them to record and listen to their favorite songs on the go. In the 1970s, the cassette tape overtook the 8-track tape as the most popular format for music and continued to dominate the market until the rise of the compact disc in the 1980s. The cassette player was not just popular for listening to music, but also for recording. The device allowed people to record their own music, spoken word, and even radio shows. It also paved the way for the home recording industry, making it easier for independent artists to produce and distribute their own music. There are a few different types of cassette players, each with their own unique features. Portable Cassette Players These were the most popular type of cassette player and were designed for portability. They were small and lightweight, and many came with a built-in speaker. Car Cassette Player These were designed to be used in cars and were typically integrated into the car's stereo system. Boom Boxes These were large, portable cassette players that came with built-in speakers and a radio. They were popular in the 1980s and were often used at parties or outdoor events. Some of the features that were commonly found on cassette players included fast forward and rewind buttons, play and pause buttons, and a volume control. Some cassette players also had a built-in microphone, which allowed users to record their own audio. In the 1980s, more than 100 billion cassette tapes were sold worldwide. The cassette players was used in many different industries, including music, education, and business. Many popular artists, including Michael Jackson and Madonna, released their music and were played on different types of cassette players. The cassette player was also used in many cars, with many car manufacturers including cassette players as standard equipment in their vehicles. The cassette player was also popularized by the automotive industry, with many car manufacturers including cassette players as standard equipment in their vehicles. This allowed drivers to listen to their own music while on the road and helped to popularize the format even more.
Despite the rise of digital formats, the cassette player still has a dedicated fan base, with many people still preferring the warmth and analog sound of tapes. The cassette player may not be as popular as it once was, but its impact on music and culture is undeniable. Thank you for watching what is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Sharing this video with your friends and family would also be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos and you'll be a part of our community. We value your feedback and would love to read your comments below. Thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video.